what's going on everybody tanner here and today i'm bringing you guys another build for destiny this time we're talking gunslingers but before we get into that if you guys could make sure you head over to twitch.tv slash tbucci i'm going to be streaming over there if you guys like these builds and you want to see them in action that's where you can find them in action so head over there and find out and uh yeah let's get right into it all right so first up we'll talk about our little build overall we have a tier five strength we have tier one discipline almost tier two probably be fixed when i get a little bit better gear as well as tier four intellect so that's like kind of the starting base point and uh as we jump into here we can see that we have a nice emphasis on still before if you guys seen this before i still have a nice emphasis on armory and recovery therefore i can like you know run away engage in a fight take a few damage pieces you know what i mean and uh, the whole idea is that I'm not going to need to recover because I have such good armor and I'm so fast that I'm going to keep myself out of the fight. So first up, we have our incendiary grenade. Now, this is, if you guys have seen my videos before, this is my favorite grenade in the game so far, uh, at least for gunslingers. Obviously, there's other ones that I enjoy more, the skip grenade being my favorite overall, totally. But the incendiary grenade is pretty good. I like it much better than the trip mine. The trip mine is good. It's just not as good as, that I, as, good as I want it to be, and I enjoy the incendiary much more than that one in our jump section we're rocking better control i always love to have better control i love to be able to jump forward jump backwards while in midair i love to be able to jump onto different ledges things that are much harder to do without control uh, the other options are good as well but for me control has always been the best option in our super section i'm running gunfighter which reduces the cooldown of golden gun allowing it to be used more often so i had that tier four golden gun and this allows it to be cooled down even faster than that so this is going to allow me to get my ultimate maybe once obviously once and then maybe twice a game when it comes to a game of trials of osiris and i think that's really really important because as a gunslinger you can kind of clutch the entire round by yourself now after that we're going to get into more of the specialty part of this build so in our melee section we're running knife juggler which is precision kills with throwing knives immediately reset its cooldown now this is going to be important because we're going to be want to be able to get these throwing knives as much as we can so if you can actually throw one of these throwing knives and get a headshot then boom, you're going to instantly get it back, and that's going to be super, super important. Mixed with the Tier 5 strength, this is going to be top-notch for us. After that, we're rocking Path Forbidden, which is training focused on battle recovery and speed, as well as Gunslinger's Trance. Precision kills increase weapon stability, and it stacks up to three times. Now, this is a really, really good one because, you know, you get a headshot, you can go ahead and increase your stability, and you can get more and more headshots overall. So this is good for PvE, PvP, and all the above. Then we have Way of the Fearless, which is training focused on toughness at all costs. This is going to allow me to get that armor that I wanted, as well as Gambler's Dagger. Now, this is another specialty part. You gain an additional throwing knife. So now you're going to have two throwing knives, and if you can hit a headshot with one, you're going to immediately reset the cooldown and get it back. So this is going to be important. This is overall a piece we're going to want by the end. We're going to want to have throwing knives constantly throughout the game. So getting into the weapons, we're going to be rocking the Clever Dragon. Now this is my favorite gun overall. A lot of people tell me I have a god roll. Not really sure. You guys will have to let me know in the comment section below. But I really, really like this gun. Probably my favorite gun that I've ever used so far. So we're running the Iron Red Dot, which is the agile sight for smooth engagement in close quarters, as well as brace frame, appended magazine, and counterbalance. Now this allows me to have just like so much stability so I just but this thing is a laser beam it doesn't kick at all barely and as well as getting those precision headshots with the one perk that we had before will allow us to be even more stable so this gun just literally stays on target stays on people's heads and you can just you know headshot people all game long after that we're rocking the thousand yard stare it's my favorite sniper rifle in the game so far my favorite role that I've ever gotten it's a 368 sniper rifle it has short gaze SLH 10 last resort rifled barrel and my favorite perk for sniper rifles firefly precision kills with this weapon cause the target to explode now this perk has given me clutched rounds i've literally have like amazing plays when it comes to this perk i've actually clutched a game of trials uh, when it came down to the control point and i was actually able to shoot the one guy in the chest shoot the other guy in the head causing him to explode and to kill the guy who i already shot in his chest so super super op perk probably my favorite so far overall after that, we're rocking Gallahorn for our heavy. This is a 365 rocket launcher that I have currently. And honestly, this is probably the best rocket launcher ever to be in Destiny. Honestly, probably the best weapon in Destiny. So uh, uh, my favorites that I like to rock on it are soft launch, quick draw, as well as tracking, of course. And the, you know, the specialty of this gun is the Wolfpack rounds. Rounds fired from this weapon split into tracking cluster missiles upon detonation. Now this makes these really, really good because obviously there's smash bosses as well as they can smash multiple people in PvP. If you hit one guy, the clusters can pop out and kill, you know, his buddies around him. So 
Super, super OP heavy uh, rocket launcher. I really, really like it. For our shell, we're still rocking the Crucible shell, which is a discipline and strength based shell. And now, obviously, it has your generic perks of, you know, Spirit Bloom Sensor as well as Hunter Bounty. Now, this is important to me because I play a lot of PvP, so I want to be able to get as much uh, glimmer from playing in the PvP area, if you will, as I can. So, this is a really good perk for me. I always rock a Crucible based shell. For our helmet, we're rocking the Iron Saga Mask, which is a 367 defense, intellect, and strength based helmet. Now, these are my favorite helmets. You guys are going to know if you watch any of my other videos, the best perk on this helmet, my favorite thing that I like to rock is Angel of Mercy. This is the most important thing. So if you're playing Trials of Osiris, if you're playing any type of respawn based game mode, you can constantly pick people up, you know, pick them back up and get some more energy from it. And honestly, you can get energy from the grenade kills and all the other ones that they have. Like for instance, this one gain bonus super energy from melee kills on Bains of the Darkness. If you're playing PvE, you might want to switch it to that one. But even at that, you know, if you're playing PvE and someone goes down, this perk still works. So it's good for PvE, it's good for PvP, and I really like it for Trials of Osiris because the one thing I'm going to emphasize always on doing is rotating over and picking up my teammates. So this is going to be important in the end game, As well as Innervation, which is bonus grenade energy on orb pickup. You know, those really just work however they work. You know, I don't really see that many orbs in PvP, so for me it's not that special, but it is there and it is useful somewhat. After that, we're rocking the Iron Saga Grips, which are 365 intellect and discipline based gauntlets. Now, these are my favorite gauntlets that I've acquired so far. I look for certain perks in my gauntlets. Number one being Switchblade. I need to have that decreased melee attack time. Now, a lot of people say, well, you shouldn't be in the situation where you need to melee somebody, which is absolutely true. However, it happens. And when it happens, I want to be able to guide that can knife you two times before you can knife me two times. So that's what makes it important to me. Plus, it just really helps when you're just. Uh, fighting bosses or anything like that whatever you may be doing pve pvp it's just a really good overall perk grenade distance throw is nice but i'm a bigger fan of switchblade and the most important perk on these is the pulse rifle loader now this is going to increase the reload speed of pulse rifles which is going to help because of the one of the perks that i had on my pulse rifle actually slows down your reload speed per pulse rifle so this is going to allow that to catch back up to like around your basic overall speed. For the chest, we're going to be rocking the Iron Saga Vest, which is a 365 intellect and strength based chest. Now, this is kind of good for us, kind of not good for us, right? Because it has what I kind of wanted before with the shotgun pieces. Um, however, what I really wanted to have was the increased recovery for five seconds after void splash damage. There seems to be a lot of void walkers going on. There seems to be a lot of people, you know, throwing out things and smashing me constantly. So this is the one that I'm currently rocking. Uh, obviously, you're going to want to swap out something for sniper rifle ammo, which I have one of those, but the secondary perks and it doesn't have intellect and strength, which is what I was looking for for this build. Now for our boots, which is like one of the more important parts of this build, we're rocking the Frost EE5s, or as I like to call them, the Frosties. Now, what these boys do, they're really, really good. Okay, first of all, they're really cool. When you run, they actually light up. The bottom part of the boots down here actually turns a white as well as these little bands kind of light up blue. So that's awesome overall. But the perks that these have is what makes it really special. So first of all, we have rocket launcher ammo, which is going to help give us more ammo for that Galahorn. Now, this part, you know, kind of sucks, but it does work for my next build, which is going to be a Blade Dancer build, I think. Actually, I might do a Warlock build, Stormcaller next, but that's neither here nor there. This is arc double down, which is not that good for me. Increase agility five seconds after an arc double kill. That's not really that awesome. However, what we truly wanted was rocket boots. That's important. And the perk that comes with these, which is like some of the best perks I think in the game. Rapid cooldown. Tighter turn radius while sprinting. Super awesome. You can run around a corner. If you're in a quick engagement, you can kind of just do a 360 on the guy really fast. As well as increased grenade and melee regeneration while sprinting. Now this is going to work in hand with those knives, right? Because we're going to, so the concept, we're going to start with two throwing knives. And if we throw one and we get a headshot, we immediately get it back. If we throw one and do not get a headshot and we just start sprinting, we're going to increase the regeneration of the throwing knife itself. Now it does increase the grenade uh, duration, but however, for me, that hasn't given me that many, that much of a speed boost. It's nice. It's definitely awesome. And that's why I chose to run a little bit lower grenade than normal. But when it comes to this one, you're going to get melee regeneration while sprinting. So you're going to literally be sprinting and you can almost just watch your throwing knife just go up so fast. Like you're going to get a throwing knife probably every 20 seconds, maybe 10, 15, 20 seconds, somewhere in that area. And matched with a, you know, a tier five strength, you're going to get it so fast. You're going to have two of them. And if you hit a headshot with one of them, you're going to get it back instantly. So 
This is going to allow you to have so many throwing knives throughout the game. You're going to constantly be able to chuck throwing knives. As I said, knives for days. For our cloak, we're watching the HLD Starwinder cloak. I guess it would be called like, you know, it looks like there's a missing letter. So it'd be like hold Starwinder or something of that nature. Uh, it's a 367 discipline and strength based cloak. It's not fully leveled out for me though. I really, really enjoy the look of it though. I think it's a really cool cloak. I think I got this Archon Forge. But what I really wanted it to have was Discipline and Strength to kind of get that strength up to Tier 5, as well as just keep me a little bit of grenade strength in there as well. Um, it comes with Auto Rifle and Sniper Rifle, I guess for me I choose Sniper Rifle and of course Crucible Champion. Uh, I don't really need those right now to explain the build though, but overall, really cool cloak. I'm starting to really enjoy that one. I'm starting to be kind of a cloak connoisseur, and uh, I have a whole huge, huge collection in my vault. So these are the ones I'm rocking currently though, and I really, really like it. And for one of the most important parts of the build, you have the memory of Yolder. This is going to, you know, give you 100 strength, 365 defense, and it removes the sprint cooldown penalty, which is like one of my favorite things. I hate sprint lock in this game. I've tried to use the other ones. You know, they're always fun to pull out, you know, the memory of Felwinter and the memory of Selimar every once in a while, but it's just so OP to be able to not have that sprint lock, and I hate that sprint lock. So that sprint lock is going to keep me constantly running. And I'm going to have tighter turn radiuses. And I'm going to have, you know, throwing knives constantly from it. So that was a really big important part of the build for me. And down below we have Arecibo Answer. Which is like one of my favorite uh, sparrows currently. It's the one from Dead Orbit. I think it's really, really cool looking. I like how the camo goes all the way down like the, the frame itself. So that's really, really cool. And as well as it's just, you know, a Dead Orbit. And I'm a huge Dead Orbit faction fan. So... That was my favorite that I'm rocking currently, as well as Happy Horn and Timeless Terrascova, which is the ship you get just from doing some type of the quest line. I can't remember what it is, but I really, really like the way it looks. For our shader, we're rocking God of War, which is a nice, cool little red shader. Uh, for I'm not really sure how it's showing up in my Elgato. It seems like it's showing up as almost like a dirty orange, but it's actually a really bright red. I'll see if I can do some color correction on that to make sure it does show up bright red for you guys. But um, it is a bright red skin, really, really cool. Uh, Suros Fire, which is like a red and black, you know, Suros emblem. I really think that looks nice as well, as well as the sprinkler. So that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoy the build. I hope you guys get out there and chuck some throwing knives. Remember what I said before. If you guys want to see these builds in order, make sure you go to twitch.tv slash tbuchi. You guys can see me there streaming and using these builds in action. I'll be using them. Kind of what I'll do is I'll make a, I'll create a build. And then throughout the week, I will use that build on Twitch. And then, you know, the next weekend we'll reset it. We'll build a new build and we'll use that one throughout the week. So if you guys want to check that out, make sure you go ahead over there. I'd really appreciate the support. Uh, I hope the, build, the video helped you guys out today. I hope it was useful. And uh, yeah, uh, make sure you guys check out the links in the description below. Have a good day. Have a good night. And it'll be.